Yes, I hear what you what you say about somebody exercising their freedom not to have a vaccine and they're perfectly healthy. I don't want them sitting next to me in the theatre. I don't want them standing next to me at the theatre bar. I don't want them next to me or anywhere near me or even in the same carriage on the train. So, uh, yeah, they can exercise their freedom by staying at home. If you decide that you don't want a vaccine or a booster, then you can decide not to go to hospital however ill you get. And that way, that is your right. So you would leave the unjabbed at home to die if they had a heart attack, if they suffered from a stroke. That's their choice. Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. That choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're... That's... Right now, we are dealing with a pandemic of the unvaccinated. It is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The Dallas Cowboys have more players that are not vaccinated than any other team in the NFL. America's team, how about them boys? Are you dumb? Get your fucking vaccine. We have a pandemic of the unvaccinated, all right? I got vaccinated. Look at me. People who refuse to accept vaccines, I think the right response for them is not to force them to, but rather to insist that they be isolated. Giving up your human rights is is justifiable. It's justifiable to take away a person's bodily autonomy when you have a global pandemic. Those who haven't had jabs but could have jabs need to have a badge saying unjabbed. Really? Uh, Yeah, we just have to make people understand that, you know, no jab, no life, and and that's how it is. Without proof of the vaccine, you can't go into a pub, club, restaurant, gymnasium, anywhere at all, you can't travel, theatre, you can't even go into work. I mean, personally, I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. We've tried the education, we've tried the carrot, we now move to the stick. If it takes time now, the time to find people, great. Let's start. Let's never move it under a euro. Let's make it £100, right? And it starts, and I tell you what, it's not 60 but let's make it 40 and above, starting on Monday, OK? Now, if we come round, knock on the door, and you can show on your phone or you've got a letter or something, you've got an appointment, that's fine. But if you willfully oppose now, you're 40 and above, £100 fine in December, £100 fine in January, £200 in February, £300 in March. By the end of the year, you'll be spending about £1,000 and that might cut through your ignorance. You've had your booster. And when you see people who will not take it, putting themselves at risk, it's, it's said. How do you, do you feel the same way I do? Does that yeah, make you does. angry? It, it makes me angry, especially in America where they, where they talk about, it's my right, it's my freedom. No, it's not. Because you are a killer. Don't get the vaccine, you can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine, you don't show it, you can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine, you can't go to work. You don't have the vaccine, you can't come here. No shirt, no shoes, no service. That's what I think we should be right now. Frankly, if, if, you, if you're not vaccinated at the moment and you're, you're eligible and you've got no health reason for not being vaccinated, you're not just irresponsible. I mean, you're an idiot. I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, that is... Truthfully, you are. People have got to understand vaccination is going to be, in the end, your route to liberty. If you're willing to walk among us unvaccinated, you are an enemy. We have to stop coddling the morons who will not get the shot. We start by calling them what they are. They are all snowflakes and cowards and idiots and losers. And most importantly, they are afraid. When are we going to stop putting up with the idiots in this country and just say, you now, it's mandatory to get vaccinated. F*** them, f*** their freedom. I want my freedom to live. If you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train besides vaccinated people and put them at risk. We're going to move to a situation where, to protect the health system, we're going to lock out people who are not vaccinated and can be. If you're making the choice not to get vaccinated, then you're making the wrong choice. You're making the wrong choice. And for safety's sake, and for the back to that point about how much work our nurses have to do, as this becomes absolutely a pandemic of the unvaccinated and we open everything up, it's not going to be safe for people who are not vaccinated to be 
roaming around the place spreading the virus. That's what they'll be that's what they'll be doing. Emmanuel Macron said his government's vaccination strategy was to piss off the unvaccinated by continuing to make daily life more difficult. In an interview with the French newspaper La Parisienne, he is quoted to have said, I'm not about pissing off the French people, but as for the non-vaccinated, I really want to piss them off. Many of us are frustrated with the nearly 80 million Americans who are still not vaccinated. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The unvaccinated overcrowd our hospitals, are overrunning emergency rooms and intensive care units, leaving no room for someone with a heart attack or pancreatitis or cancer. This is not about freedom or personal choice. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us.